the next episode of Araka Central. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. As a warning, this video will cover spoilers for the upcoming Dune Part 2, so view with caution if you don't want to be spoiled. In this video, we'll be talking about the infamous Fade Rautha. Most of us know Fade Rautha from his portrayal by Sting in the 1984 Dune film and in the upcoming 2024 Dune Part 2, who is played by Austin Butler. Fade Rautha was the nephew of the Baron Vladimir Harkonnen, which we all know. But in the Doom timeline, he was actually born in the year 10,174 after the Guild, which is a few years before the events of the Dune book. Fade's full name was Siridar Baron Fade Rautha Harkonnen, but he was from the Raban side of the family. One important aspect to think about when covering Fade was that in the book, he was seen in the, I believe the second chapter of the book where Baron Harkonnen and Piter de Bries are going over the plan to overthrow House Atreides. And Fade is seen sitting in the corner, kind of annoyed or bored of the plan and not really seeming to care about what this possible future might hold. This is in contrast to the 2021 Dune Part 1, where Fade is not even shown in the movie at all. But we do know he will be a main character in Dune Part 2, which comes out in approximately 20 days. So Fade in the lore is born on the planet Lankavale, and his father was Abelard Raban. And his father was hopeful that he would not have the dishonor of the Harkonnen name, which had been passed down through generations. That I have explained in other videos. The Baron Harkonnen had clear favoritism towards Fade over Glossu Raban. And that is actually shown in the, the books, although Raban also seems to be wanting to have approval from his uncle, but he is just so brutal at all aspects. Um, he is a useful tool on Arrakis for the Baron, but he does not see him as a possible heir in the larger scheme of things. One fact that may not be commonly known was that Fade was also the byproduct of the Bene Gesserit breeding lines. Fade was supposed to marry an Atreides daughter to continue on the Bene Gesserit plans to have their superhuman or perfect Kozak Sidorak, which they were wanting to control. This wouldn't happen, of course, because Jessica would not follow the rules of the Bene Gesserit and bear a son to Duke Leto Atreides. This was a speed bump in the plans by the Bene Gesserit to create their own controlled Kozak Sidorak. This would also lead to the huge feud between House Harkonnen and House Atreides would only fuel it more and there would be a great hatred between Paul Atreides and Fade Rautha because of that as well. So because of that lack of link or tie for the Bene Gesserit by that Atreides daughter never being born, the, the Bene Gesserit would send an envoy in the form of Margot Fenring, Lady Fenring, and she would uh, seduce Fade Rautha in order to try and make a child. Therefore, they could continue on their plan for their own controlled Kozak Hatterak in case Fade was to meet his demise. Another subplot out of the book, the first Dune book, was the fact that Fade was trying to assassinate the Baron with the use of a poison needle embedded in a slave boy's leg. Well, the Baron was very smart and cunning. He figured out that was the assassination plot and then confronted Fade about it and then forced Fade to murder the slaves and the rest of the people that were involved in the plot to assassinate him. Well, the Baron would not be killed and he would discover that Fade tried to do the plot, but instead of killing Fade, he'd make a deal with him. Now, this deal was that he would make Fade the Baron 
and he would step aside once the current situation with the lands rads and the emperor was finished well of course we all know what would happen spoiler warning ahead if you have not read the book and this was probably what will happen in the next movie as of course the baron will be killed it doesn't specifically say in the movies how that's going to happen yet but in the book that he's killed by paul's Bene Gesserit, reverend mother sister Aaliyah, and then paul will have to fight fade to the death in a knife brawl all this is a speculation but I think that the overall plot will still happen. But there has been rumors on the internet that Aaliyah will not be born, but in fact she will be an embryo talking to Lady Jessica through her and not actually be a child that's walking around. I could see this making sense for a movie because a two-year-old essentially walking around talking like a full adult and outsmarting and being the smartest person in the room, as is in the book with Aaliyah, might be a little off-putting, and it would have to be serious CGI involved. So I think it might actually work out if that rumor is true. If that is the case in the Dune Part 2, my theory is that they'll end up having Lady Jessica kill the Baron. That would make the most next logical sense if that's the case. So hopefully... These are not spoilers, but they're all speculation because I have not seen the movie. So this is just my thoughts on it. So this next part will be a large spoiler for the next movie. If you have not watched the 1984 film or the old miniseries or read the books. Paul and Fade will have a knife duel at the end. And essentially whoever wins will marry Princess Aralon. Paul will accept that duel and then they will have a very vicious knife brawl. It will be one of the most hardest opponents Paul will have due to the fact that Fade has been trained for years as well, and he has been in the part of the selective breeding process, just like Paul was. But in the end, Paul kills Fade, and then will outcast the Emperor, but he will marry Princess Erlon as his wife only in name and he will have Chani still as his concubine what he will bear children with in the future. But in closing, I do feel that it's almost a tragic character that Fate is and the fact that he is not quite as evil as the Baron, at least as portrayed in the books. But he almost seems like a product of his environment and he was brought up and almost engineered to be the way he was. But if you do like these videos, please remember to like and subscribe to support this channel. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.